Good Thursday morning. Glad to be with you in Luke chapter 7 as we move through some of the events in the life of Jesus. And this event uh, was about two, uh, about a parable that Jesus told about two debtors. And uh, so here, here's the deal. Uh, Jesus is having a meal at a tax collector's house and a woman comes in and, uh, you know, she she anointed his feet in, uh, with oil with a, and brought in a vial of perfume and uh, standing behind him, she uh, at his feet weeping, she began to wet his feet with the tears and, you know, dried his feet with her hair and he was kissing his feet and anointing them with perfume. And the Pharisee who invited him saw this and was offended by it, said, you know, uh, what's this sinner doing here? Why is she in your presence? And so he told this parable and he said, look, he said, uh, you know, I came in your house, you didn't do anything for me, didn't wash my feet, didn't, you know, didn't do anything gave me nothing, but she, she came in here and, and ministered to me and, and loved me because of who I am. And she said, you didn't anoint my head with oil, but she anointed my feet with perfume. And he said, I'm going to tell you her sins are forgiven, uh, which have been many. They're forgiven. And he said, uh, you know, for she's much loved. And so the parable he told, he said, a money lender had two debtors, one with just a little bit and one with 500 denarii. And he said, uh, when they were unable to pay, he forgave them both. And he said, who, who, who's going to love the money lender the most? And so, you know, the tax collector said, well, obviously, it's going to be the one who was forgiven most. And Jesus said, that's right. And then he said, you know what? Uh, you don't have much to forgive. Your life is maybe a lot better than this woman's. But I forgive her sins because she's loved me and she put her faith in me. And he looked at the woman and he says, your sins have been forgiven. I think that's a very interesting thing. You know, in our generation, uh, we seem to, seem to tiptoe around uh, acknowledging sin for what it is. But until sin is acknowledged, then grace cannot be appreciated. And can I say that again? Until sin is acknowledged and understood, felt and understood the impact of it, until we know the, the real ramifications of that, both now and for eternity, then God's grace and God's mercy to us in Christ can't fully be appreciated. Well, in this case, this woman had plenty of sin. <clears throat> and because Jesus was kind to her and forgave her of her sins, she was overwhelmed by it. You know, I like to think that I don't have a lot of sin, but <laughs> that wouldn't be true. But I think for people who've come in, in the rough parts of life, come from the rough parts of life, I think they have a knowledge of grace that sometimes I just don't fathom. Uh, I've been a Christian a long time, and I haven't lived a life that a lot of people have lived. But I think those people, when they come to Christ, appreciate it maybe more than some of us. Let's all appreciate the grace of God. Remember this, until sin is understood and known and the gravity of it is upon us, we can never know how great grace is in the Lord Jesus Christ. Amazing grace. Let's thank you for it. Heavenly Father, we thank you for your amazing grace and how you love us and sustain us by it. We are aware that we are sinners and we are aware that they are saved uh, redeemed and all those sins are pushed away from us in Christ and for that we thank you and for that we thank you for your amazing grace in Jesus name we pray amen